Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, any planet in your birth chart in Aquarius. All right, I want to use these cards for some reason. Let's see, what does Aquarius need to know about their connection or relationship with their person, spirit? Ooh, okay. <clears throat> What's the current situation between Aquarius and their person? whoever Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, we have enjoy being alone. Don't go out looking, don't go out looking for love. Let love find you. Enjoy being alone. Interesting message. Okay. And this one says divine timing. Trust the timing of everything, just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean it never will. Divine timing and enjoy being alone. Those are the two messages for you, Aquarius. All right. <clears throat> oh, we have another message here. It says there's better. You might know what's good for you, but your angels and guides know what's best for you. You might know what's good for you, but your angels and guides know what's best for you. There's better. All right. Well, looks like spirit wants you to leave whoever you're dealing with, basically. I guess to, to sum it up. All right, let's look at your person. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Aquarius? Whoever Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love currently, what are this person's current feelings for Aquarius, please? Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. What are this person's current feelings for Aquarius? We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Swords. Over here we have the Queen of Swords. We also have Ten of Swords here. Oh my God, there is something better. Look at that. Jeez, Ten of Cups and the, and the Sun card. I don't know, this kind of reminds me of the card that I just read that said there's something better. Aquarius, you have a really good relationship coming towards you. This is like going to be a relationship that's long term, stable, full of happiness, full of abundance and growth. Um, you two are going to have a family, live together. You know, it's just going to be A beautiful love story, basically, which sounds cliche, I guess. It might not sound realistic. It might sound like it's from a movie, but I honestly feel like that's what you're going to experience. You're going to experience a romance and a relationship that's just like the movies, you know. All right. <clears throat> Let's look at this person, though. So it does look like you ended things with this person, whoever you're dealing with here. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And they feel, they feel pretty bad here. They feel left out in the cold. They feel rejected. They feel abandoned. 
but you look like you have your reasons. You, you look like you have very good reasons and very valid reasons for throwing this person out into the cold and ending things with them. It does look like this person caused you a lot of grief. It also looks like you invested a lot of time and energy into this person and emotion in, into this relationship with this person. Hmm. But it looks like this person um, was reckless with your heart, I want to say. This person was reckless with your heart. And ultimately, it does look like you kicked them out, you know, because they weren't valuing you the way you deserve. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I want to know more about this person. Let me clarify. Clarify the Five of Pentacles in this person's current feelings for Aquarius spirit. <clears throat> hmm. it looks like you did the right thing here Aquarius from what I can see here clarify the five of pentacles in regards to this person's current feelings for Aquarius we have the hangman the nine of pentacles the hermit card What? Eight of Cups at the bottom. Judgment card. Hmm. Give me a second here. Hangman, Nine of Pentacles, Hermit. So this person is seeing you in a very different light. Um... This person has a whole new perspective of you. They feel like you've changed. Um, yeah, I guess I feel like you have changed, but I feel like you've changed for the better. But for them, from their perspective, you know, you changed um, to, their de to their detriment for your betterment and to their detriment. You know? Hmm. We do have the judgment card, so I do see that this person wants to have a second chance with you. Tell me about this judgment card, Spirit. Clarify the judgment in regards to this person's current feelings for Aquarius. I feel like this person's not doing much. I feel like they're just kind of um, sulking, honestly. It's, it's what it, at least currently, you know, right now, currently, it looks like they're sulking. It almost looks like they're processing everything. It's. It looks like things happen very quickly here. Like you pulled the plug maybe kind of um, sp spontaneously, you know, unexpectedly, at least from their perspective. And I feel like they're just trying to catch up, you know, with everything that has happened and kind of process everything and come to terms with everything. So it looks like they're sulking and they're kind of um, also reflecting, contemplating, like, how did this happen? How did I get here? How did this relationship get to this point? I feel like they're a little bit um, confused and surprised. Hmm. Tell me about the judgment card and this person's current feelings for Aquarius. Why the judgment card? The Emperor, 
with the nine of swords. Ooh, eight of swords. Look at that. What's here? Ace of cups. Okay. And the two of wands and the devil. And the eight of wands and the four of cups. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is it. Let me see. Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Devil, Eight of Wands, Four of Cups. Okay, so this person had the opportunity to be with you, you know, to, to have a new beginning with you, with the Ace of Cups. But they chose to be wishy-washy, fickle, unresponsive, detached, they didn't embrace this new beginning with you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing options here with the three, um, I, I say three of cups because there's, there's three cups here at the bottom of the card. So it's like three of cups and this eight of wands. This feels like someone who has a lot of options and someone who's trying to kind of entertain all of those options at the same time, you know? This person wasn't making a decision about you. They were leaving you hanging. All right, what about here? Judgment, Emperor, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, now this person, it looks like this person um, has received a reality check here from you. A wake-up call, a reality check with the Emperor and the Nine of Swords. This person thought they were really smart, you know, Emperor. They thought they were really smart. But it looks like you ended up being a lot smarter than them. Looks like you kind of beat them at their own game. You outsmarted them. Hmm. They thought they had this relationship under control, basically. They thought they had you under control. They thought they had this relationship under control. And you just basically told them what time it is here. You showed this person what time it is. In other words, like, you showed this person that no one can control you. And that you're a lot more capable, <clears throat> sorry, capable, <clears throat> capable and aware and intelligent and smart than they think you are. you know, and in control and in charge. You're not dependent off of them. It's actually the other way around because they're showing up with the devil here. <clears throat> they're the ones who need you. They're the ones who are dependent off of you. Even though they act like they're very independent and confident and self-sufficient, they're not. They're, they're someone who's codependent. And I feel like that's what you um, showed this person. You know, you showed this person that you don't actually need them, that it's the other way around. They, they need you. This is someone who likes attention. It doesn't look like you gave them that attention, but you're no longer giving them that attention and they're kind of freaking out, you know? They're freaking out here with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. They don't know what to do. I told you, they're like confused. They're a little bit baffled and confused. Like, what just happened here? 
What did Aquarius just do? I didn't see this coming. This wasn't part of the plan. Right? You know, the emperor, emperor always has a plan. The emperor always has a plan, but this wasn't part of, of the plan. They didn't see this coming. It's like I said, it's like they're looking at you from a whole different perspective with the hermit and the hangman. Okay. All right, let's move on here. I'm going to take a look now. All right, so I can see their feelings. Let's see what their intentions are. Yeah. Do I want to clean this up? Okay. I'll keep you here. Okay. Let's see what their intentions are with you. All right, spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current intentions with, I, I, want, I keep wanna, wanting to say Virgo. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your birth chart. What are this person's current intentions with Aquarius? Here we go. What are this person's current intentions with, with Aquarius? I was going to say Virgo. The world card, the wheel of fortune. What are their current intentions with Aquarius? Nine of swords. Okay. Hold on, I want to take a look at this. We have two major arcanas here. The world and the wheel of fortune. Let me clarify this first. Hmm. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let you go. You know, nine of swords and, and the world. They don't want this cycle between you and them to close. They're not ready for this cycle between you and them to close. They still want to be with you. They still want to um, have a relationship with you, have the same relationship that you two have been having. But the thing is that that's a relationship that you didn't feel fulfilled by. They did, though. They felt happy with how things were, but you're not happy. You weren't happy. This person doesn't want to start over. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is kind of like when you begin a new cycle. You know, you have, there, you begin a new chapter in your life. But with the Nine of Swords, this person doesn't want to start over again. They don't want to have to meet someone new and like, you know, build up a relationship again with somebody new. They want to stick with you. But the problem is that you don't want to stick with them. All right. Tell me more about what this person's intentions are with Aquarius. Spirit. This person's intentions with Aquarius, King of Wands. We have the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Wands. And the Six of Wands to the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Seven of Cups at the bottom. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, Two of Cups. Hmm. Okay. They're not sure if it's too late to reconcile with you. Hold on. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Justice, Hierophant. Oh my God, you are not 
in a welcoming energy at all. It does look like it's kind of too late. I'm not sure. Let me see. King of Wands and the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands. So this person is planning. Okay. That's what they're currently doing here. They're currently planning in secret, right? King of Wands and the High Priestess. They're secretly planning what they're going to do next. I feel like this person does want to pursue you. They do want to chase you. But they're taking their time to figure out the details of how they're going to approach you. Hmm. Okay. I don't understand this energy here. Let me clarify that. What is this energy here, Spirit? Six of Wands to the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Can you clarify that energy for me, please? In regards to this person's intentions with Aquarius. The Hangman. The Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. Four of, wand Four of Swords. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Okay, I definitely see this person um, attempting to communicate with you. The thing is that it's not going to work out. It's just not going to work out. You're not going to be impressed, you know, with the Four of Pentacles. You're not going to be impressed by how this person comes towards you and approaches you and, you know, the things that they communicate to you. It's not going to cause a reaction in you. It's not going to impress you. Why is that, though? Tell me about this, um, yeah, six of one, because they're still being fake. That's why. They're still being fake. They're not being really open and honest with you about how they really feel. They're not taking any type of responsibility for, for what they did to you, for what they did to this relationship, because they obviously have guilt here. There's a guilty conscience connected to them. But they're not acknowledging any of that. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Queen of Cups. You see, this is what I'm telling you. Like, this is someone who does have a lot of feelings for you. They do feel a lot of love for you. But with the Six of Wands, this person is going to pretend like, you know, they're not all that affected. Like, they're not really bothered or affected by this ending. They just want to talk to you and see if you two can work things out. But, you know, they're going to act pretty casual here. You know, they're not going to admit how much they're being affected by you walking away and leaving them, you know? They're, they're going to disguise their emotions. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Spirit. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Oh, that's you. Interesting. And the Four of Wands. Well, you know, Aquarius, don't let this person trigger you. Because this is showing up in your energy. The Ooh, there's a little mosquito. This is showing up in your energy. Um, so you're going to be triggered. <laughs> you know, you're going to be triggered when this person reaches out to you. Because they're going to be coming towards you with that fake energy. And you're going to feel like this person is wasting your time. And you don't appreciate that. And you're going to make it known to this person that you don't appreciate that. And I feel like you're also going to make it clear to this person that what you want is, is a committed, long-term, serious relationship. 
and that you're not going to settle for less. This person's going to come towards you playing head games and mind games. Yeah. So be prepared for that because I feel like that's that's their plan. Their plan is to come towards you and try to kind of, you know, get you wrapped up again in in their energy. It's not going to work though because you you're already kind of trained in in regards to how this person operates. So I feel like you're going to immediately react. You're 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 going to get triggered and you're going to, you're going to get upset. You're going to get upset and I feel like you're going to reiterate this this looks like something you've already told them before, but you're just going to reiterate it again that if it's not a committed serious long-term relationship, you're not interested. You're not interested in talking to them and dealing with them and seeing them. You're just not interested. And how is um how is this person going to react to um Aquarius spirit? Let's see what their response is to you. Yeah. How is this person going to react and respond to Aquarius? All right, here we go. Four of Cups. Yeah, Four of Swords. The Star, Six of Cups to the Hermit, and the Two of Wands. Wheel of Fortune to the Justice card, and the Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups. Well, they're persistent. Yeah, they're persistent. Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Star. This person is thinking about someone from their past, Aquarius. That's why they're not making a decision to be with you in a, in a real relationship, a real commitment, you know? Their, their head is stuck in the past with some other past relationship that they're no longer, you know, dealing with anymore, but they're, they keep remembering it. And it almost looks like they keep, like, yearning for it, you know? They, they keep calling for it, this person from their past. Tell me about this person from this person's past, please. Aquarius person's past. Tell me about this past person that this person is thinking about. Tell me about this past person that Aquarius this person is thinking about. Empress. Ooh, three of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Hmm. Hmm. Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords. Oh, okay. So they were dealing with an Empress in the past. Hmm. This person cut them out. Because of their emotional immaturity. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Their emotional immaturity caused the caused them to lose this person. So it looks like kind of history is repeating itself because it does look like that's why you're leaving them as well. Interesting. You're also leaving them because they're emotionally immature. 
So it looks like a um, history is repeating itself. But this person is still hooked on this past person. Still thinking about them. Still thinking about wanting to reunite with them. Reconnect with them. But this past person doesn't want anything to do with them. It doesn't look like this past person has any feelings for them, interestingly enough. No feelings whatsoever. No. They're focused on themselves, they're focused on their work, their career, and they don't, they're not really thinking about them. This person doesn't cross their mind, you know? Doesn't ever cross their mind. They, actually, they look very happy, actually. They look happy and stable and balanced. Yeah. So that's going nowhere. But the point is, Aquarius, that this person, they're not making a decision with you because their head is stuck in the past. Apart from the fact that, you know, they're very uh, immature. They're very emotionally immature. Okay. Hmm. So in regards to how they're going to respond to you, right? That's what I was asking. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, because the Knight of Swords is your energy. You're going to be telling this person the same thing that you've already told them. You're only interested in a commitment. Um, and their response, it's lackluster. Their response to you is lackluster. It's not... You're not doing anything when you say things to them. It's like talking to a wall, you know? You might as well talk to a wall. It's the same thing as, as talking to this person. They're just, they don't get it, you know? They, they don't get it. They, they lack that self-awareness. They can't see themselves, you know? They, they don't see their own um, sabotaging tendencies. You know, they don't see that. So this looks like a lost cause, you know. This, is, this looks like someone who can't be helped. All right, so Aquarius, that's what I see um, in regards to advice. Um, just to repeat. It says, enjoy being alone. Don't go out looking for love. Let love find you. Trust the, the, the timing of everything. Just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean it never will. Divine timing. You might know what's good for you, but your angels and guides know what's best for you. There's something better. I already told you there's something a whole lot better. Look at this. Ten of cups in the sun. Like, this is, you're not losing anything. Clearly, because I already dug up their energy and there's nothing to this person, really. You know, unfortunately, there's just a lot of emptiness in their energy. So you're not losing anything, you know. All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading helped you. If it did help you, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.